SeatGeek. For all your ticketed events, from sporting to concert outings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code KEYPOUNDINTV. In life, there's too many things I can't guarantee you. But what I will guarantee you is you'll have to pay taxes, you will die, and Steve Wilkes is gone. Why? Because his right-hand man, Al Holcomb, is taking a job interview. We'll talk about it. Let's get into it. If you see this face, that means I school. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. This episode is brought to you by prizepicks.com. Prizepicks.com, official sponsor of the Pass On Sensor, Keep Pounding TV podcast. Available now on iOS and on Android. All first time users that use my promo code, Keep Pounding, will receive a 100% deposit match. Again, if you deposit $100, $20, $50, $10, you'll receive an extra whatever you deposit up to $100, all right? But you must be a first time user. How does it work? Simply choose between two and six players and whether they go over or under projected a number. For example, would Kevin Durant go over 26 points? Would uh, Carl Anthony Towns have more than five rebounds? Will uh, Trey Young have more than three assists? Yada, yada, yada down the line. If you can choose six of those right, you can 25 times your money. You can walk away with a pretty penny. I walked away with $1,800 last week. Real fun, cool site. Check it out right now. Keep pounding in my promo code. The link will be in the comment and the description section. Now, you also can find me at any other link, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, in the description section as well. With that being said, y'all, let's talk about our Holcomb, I'm Steve Wilkes. What does this mean that he's taking a job interview? I'll put it to you like this. First of all, congratulations that somebody wants you. It's always good to be enamored. <laughs> Shout out to C. Dougie for not pronouncing that word right. And listen, I struggle with words too. It's, it's a good feeling not to be, uh, excuse me, it's a good feeling to be enamored. And um, I want to put it to you like this. Steve Wilkes is gone. I'm 100% sure of that. I, I guarantee you that. I 100% guarantee you that. Um, his coordinator, him and his coordinator, uh, Al Holcomb, they're not inseparable, okay? If you look at his history, uh, when it comes to coaching, he's been uh, with Steve Wilkes his whole career. I mean, pretty much most of his career. The Cleveland Browns, he was uh, uh, the run game coordinator. He was with the uh, Cardinals when uh, Wilkes was there as the defense coordinator. Uh, the New York Giants, I don't think he was there, but he's the defense quality coach who were there. So most of his career, he's been up under uh, Steve Wilkes. So the fact that this this opportunity has come, somebody has told somebody that you're not coming back. And I like to believe that Steve Wilkes has been told he's not coming back, along with Al Holcomb. So he probably told him, hey, yo, let my man find a job or something, you know what I mean? Or they probably get my option, hey, man, you want to stay on as a quality control guy or something like that? He said, nah, I'll go take my talents elsewhere. Now, what about Al Holcomb? Is he worth it? Should we be sad about this? Yada, yada, yada. I'm probably going to say some things that's going to upset people. And I don't care because that's what I do. But it's usually because I'm making a point. My point is this. Al Holcomb inherited a decent defense. On top of that, he was the run game coordinator in 2020. All right. He was the run game coordinator up to 20 uh, from 2020 to 2021 before Phil Snow got fired, right? What is the one area that the Panthers have struggled in? Stopping the run. All right. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so we, we we have been mid to below average when it comes to stopping the run here. But I'll tell you this, he inherited a overall decent defense. This defense is not bad at all. I don't want to sit here and ruin my man's job interview. I don't want to ruin any of his chances, but I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. He is not that good of a coach. Let me, let me, let me, let me give you a better analogy. If a Lamborghini is driven by a bad driver, does it still make it not fast? Or is that motherfucker still fast? It's just been driven by a bad driver. I'll put it to you like this. According to Steve Wilkes, Phil Snow was a bad driver of this Lamborghini. So when when my man Al Holcomb takes over, does it mean that he's that better of a driver of this Lamborghini? Does it mean he make it fast? No. 
This defense has already been uh, fast. This Lamborghini has already been fast. You just became the driver that knew how to drive it. But it still was fast even if nobody didn't know how to drive it correctly. Does that make sense? So a lot of these, and, and, and I hate to, you know, really take, take a dig at these guys, but Holcomb and Wilkes and all these, these guys inherited a, 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 a core defensive unit that's not that bad. Yeah, we can use another defensive end. Yeah, we can use another defensive tackle. Yeah, we can use another linebacker or something like that. But overall, this thing was intact. So you're getting job interviews based off of Phil Snow's uh, work. You're getting job interviews based off of Matt Rule's work. And I know you don't want to hear that. I know you don't want to hear it. But when you really look at it, you know what I mean? Look, got in, he got in place. He brought his brother up. And his brother, oh, now you're getting job interviews. And again, I'm not trying to take anything away from anybody. But Al Holcomb is, you know, he's more like a tag. You know what I mean? Tag. Come on in. You mean <laughs> far as what has he done for us um you know feeling guy yeah anybody that coaches this defense ain't gonna look too bad hell phil snow who got fired had this defense as a top 10 defense you do know that right he was fired unjustly because wilkes wanted to bring in his brother to brother connection and that's why he was fired but uh, 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 Phil Snow had these guys at top 10. Yeah, he had, yeah, go look it up. Had him at top 10. So uh, I'm not tripping off this Al Holcomb news. I hope the brother go get a job. But the whole career, he's been tagging along behind Wilkes. Looks like this will be his first potential time without Wilkes here. And I hope you go to the Atlanta Falcons. You're going down I-85. Go to the Atlanta Falcons. Boy, we're going to beat the shit out of your ass. Please go to the Falcons. <laughs> You know, I, and I'm not saying that this guy's dependent on Wilkes. You know what I mean? But I call a spade a spade. It is what it is here. His whole career. But now, listen, he, he was a Super Bowl defensive quality control coach. All right? 2009, he joined that staff. 2011, he was promoted to Perry Field. You know Perry Field, right? Perry Field used to be our interim head coach. And now he works for the NFL PA. Uh, he won a Super Bowl with them as a defensive quality coach. You know what I mean? Defensive quality coach is nothing more than a, 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 a glorified assistant. It's, it's, it's an assistant without being called an assistant for pay rate for a pay rate uh, pay rate uh, prop, uh, process or whatever, so like that. So, but yeah, other than that, man, I hope he goes to the Falcons. You know, they don't have no real defensive pieces other than Grady Jarrett, AJ AJ Terrell. He's all right. Uh, outside of that. Uh, you know, if you guys are dependent on uh, Al Holcomb to come in here and turn your defense around, A, he can't do it without daddy. <laughs> he need daddy Wilkes with him. <laughs> you know, Wilkes is, uh, I will give Wilkes credit to this. Wilkes has the least Super Bowl experience when it comes to being a defensive coordinator. He wasn't a quality control coach. I, I will give Wilkes credit for that, being a, a Super Bowl DB coach, all right? But if you're asking about Al Holcomb, this nigga need daddy with him. So that's up to y'all. If y'all gonna hire him, you better bring you better bring his uh his pops with him. But uh nah man, I ain't worried at all, man. But Steve Wilkes is gone. This is this is all this is saying to me is it's confirming that he's gone because these guys have been like Batman and Robin pretty much since most of their career, man. Or at least most of uh, Al Holcomb's career. So But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope we get either Ben Johnson and Vic Vangio as our defense coordinator or Ben Johnson and Marquand Emmanuel from uh, the New York Jets, the DB, DB coach, as a defense coordinator. To new beginnings, man. To new beginnings here. I'm very, very excited. Shout out to Al Holcomb, man. Colombian drug lord from New York. Uh, allegedly. Oh, damn. Don't say it. I'm sorry. I apologize. Scratch that from the, scratch that from the video. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm tripping, y'all. Uh... Get in the comment section. I'm your host, like running guy to also know the big cat. I'm gonna go put the polls up. If you rock with the big cat, tell me what you guys think, man. I'll hook him. Does this mean that Steve Wilkes is gone? He's not gonna leave his right hand man. His right hand man ain't gonna, you know what I mean? This, this has, they, somebody got a hold of these boys and said, We ain't bringing neither one of you back. 
Get in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Head over to Prize Pick. The link is in the description and in the comment section. All first time users using my promo code Keep Pounding will receive a 100% deposit match. Use it, y'all. We got Monday Night Football tonight. Dallas Cowboys, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You might as well put $10, $20 on it. Earn you some money. Let's get up out of here, y'all. Let the church say, Paul's up. Keep pounding. Carolina on top. Forever, baby. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out two of these really cool videos. Don't forget about the links in the description section as well.